I call to order this regular select board meeting for Thursday, January 25th, 2024. Are there any adjustments to this agenda? That was warm. Not by me. We will go with what was warned and what's in front of us. And we start with a public comment period. If there's anybody here that Can wants to make a in public comment. I don't see anybody no, on the line. Online. Anybody else want to make a public comment? Give it a second here. The yeah. interpretive dance that you want to do, Patty, would be a good time right now. <laughs> oh, I'll go right after you. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> Dan, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Blink twice. It's done. Exactly. It's <laughs> just see it. Right. Working all week on that. <laughs> it's very stressful. Me. What's your stomach? Yeah. You all right? Okay. okay. Trash can? No. Okay. <laughs> Did you really? So we're so the meeting has started and we're asking if there's any public comments. So now would be the time if anyone has a public comment. We're waiting. We're waiting for you. Okay. Well, I just want to pay on the clock. Okay. Sounds good. So there's no public comment. No public comment. So we will move on to the first item on the agenda, which is the town highway items. Okay, so it was put on the agenda about dump truck tire purchase. So we purchased some tires for our dump trucks and it was not done in the correct fashion. So First of all, I apologize on what transpired. I guess I took it that there were tires that, you know, we buy tires for our trucks and they come from one location and they're recapped tires and not new tires. They're, we sent in our tires to be recapped. Um, so it was over $1,000 and I should have come to the board to at least let you know that we needed to get our tires recapped. Just kind of happened really quick mm -hmm. that we were changing tires for winter and um, the sales rep was there and um, tires are all over the shop and we knew we needed to send in our tires for recap. So he gave us the price on them. And so there are tires, but they pay him to recap them. Correct. So we get our casings back. We send so it how does that work? If we have stuff in the budget, we still have to have the purchasing We still have policy. to see it for anything over a thousand. One of us does. Okay. So this is this is not any kind of violation of the budget. No. No, it's an after the fact. Uh, but even though it's budgeted, it still has to come to the select board for anything over a thousand. Right. Okay. Just needs to show in the minutes that it was approved. Got it. After the fact. So prove that we're going to take away his baseball pass for the season. <laughs> Don't take the tires away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll short your radio. <laughs> Did you agree with the uh, the guy who said we need him? He must have because they went away and they, they spent the money. Do I agree with the guy who said we need well, him? No, no. Did, did you assess that in the beginning? Um, did you know that we needed new tires? Well, it's a it's a it's a rotating. Thing that you know, certain trucks are on certain rotations of usually there's a couple trucks that need new tires or recap tires, and the old tires that come off go and back in to be recapped, so they come back and then we have fresh mm -hmm. tires just to keep. It so there's a rotation for each truck as to how long the tires basically last. Usually they can go through a couple winters and a, maybe a couple summers, and they and then they're pretty much done. Maybe a summer, depends on what's hauling. Now, what's the advantage of doing that as opposed to brand new tires? Cost. How much does that cost? Well, to uh, have one recapped is three hundred eight dollars, and I, I don't know the price exactly of a new one, but I would have to guess it's probably. Do you remember, Kurt? Uh, I 
that's pushing a grand. I mean, yeah, I can imagine. So there. It's, it's definitely the most economical yeah. way. Yeah. We get and we get the tread that we <clears throat> like and works very well for us. So okay, good. They're made to do that. They're made to be recapped. You can recap them up to a certain amount of times, and then, and then, um, or the age of the tire. I can't remember the, the actual age, but once they get to a certain age, they can't be recapped anymore. Mm -hmm. So eventually, you have to, yeah. you do have to purchase new tires. But but this makes total sense to do it like yeah. this. And they put them on for us, or or they just do it and then bring them back, and then we still have to jack it up and put the tire on and all that stuff. Currently, yeah. Because I know we had talked about maybe having somebody come in and help with that, you know, type of process. But I'm sure that will be something maybe towards yeah, spring or whatever. And we have money in the budget. Did we? Now that we're talking about budget stuff, that was something that just came to me. Like, did we put that in there? Because I know I agreed with that when we last talked about it. But I don't know if we remember to put that in the budget to account for that. I don't think we added any more. I think it would fit. It's not very expensive to have a tire company mount dismount they do it so quick that i okay. want to say it's like 30 dollars a tire mm. it's, it's really mm. minimal when you think about the time it takes mm -hmm. us to dismount remount and the, mm -hmm. the yeah. labor of it is it's hard work yeah they're heavy they're heavy and they're hard to get on the rim it's, sometimes they go on slick and the next one will fight you to for now mm -hmm. you do it by yourself or take two people so we can we can do them by ourselves, but usually if somebody's around, it's nice to have an extra hand to to do it. But the guys, uh, Scott and Dwayne do a very good job at it. They're, um, they're good at it. It just takes a little while, and it's it's a good opportunity to get hurt. And I almost think mm -hmm. Dwayne did get a hernia a few years back at that. And I figured from the tires. Mm. And then... If you've ever seen one blow up, give you a different. <laughs> okay. Yeah, tires are not a fun thing, but a necessity. Right. So, do we need a motion for something that is uh, after the fact? Yes. I move that we accept the purchase of the tires as presented. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Yep. Aye. Aye. Right. This motion carries three to zero. Okay, next on the list is our radio update. Um, I sent everybody the, well, after last week's meeting, we talked about UHF radios versus VHF radios. And um, Radio North, who we've been doing business with, um, does not do much with UHF radios. So they, agreed that they would not be much help in that line they did say there was others around that possibly could help us but uh, didn't give any more information than that but i did talk with andy forsberg uh, a little bit and got some great information from him with Burlington communications um, this fleet wave uh, program that Burlington communication offers seems like a really economical way for us to get updated radios that we can actually communicate throughout the town with um, and i did send that quote to everybody um if we had a chance to see it or not it is considerable less money um versus the the quote we had with a, getting a repeater and that course doesn't include finding a location leasing land getting power to it there's a lot of there'll be a, there would be a lot of after the fact expense as well. Um, so this is basically Burlington Communications owns a tower on Mount Mansfield, um, and then they lease uh, per radio monthly to do this, which is twenty one dollars a month per radio. <clears throat> so and I did put this quote is in the version six budget. Um, and um, I've had a few quick conversations with Bob as well. Um, I don't know if you were able to find out anything more of my conversation with Bob. So I, what I what I found out is that um, I don't have the quote in front of me, but the VHF radio would be the way, the portable radio would be the way that we'd want to go. We would not want to go with the 
the UHF um, simply because um, it's been discovered like it would have a hard time hitting the repeater because of the number of watts that the portable radio has to be able to hit Mount Mansfield. So we should likely stay with VHF because they would continue to be able to monitor other agencies um, around this area. Uh, so VHF would be the way to go with the portable radios. However, the in the radios that are in the truck, you know, buying these other UHF radios for here, uh, you know, the garage and, you know, in the various pieces of equipment that we wanted to have them in would be the way to go. And then they can continue to use the VHF radios that are already installed in the trucks and then um, the UHF. And then as we replace um, the fleet, um, you can buy radios that um, that do both, the VHF and UHF. So you wouldn't have to put both radios in. You know, say a next year's truck, we could get a, a radio that would do do that. So, um, you know, we can stay current with the technology. And if it's $21 per month per radio, that seems like that would be the way to go. I know it was like six or $700 to lease space um, for a repeater on Cowie Road. So, you know, you know, then we have to maintain a radio and get power to it and, you know, lease land and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It just seems like this would be the way to go. And the communication I've had is that people can talk from Johnson, you know, hit the rate, hit the repeater on Mansfield and then come back here to town. So I think that, you know, while we're off trying to haul sand or we're in Burlington or wherever, that this seems like this would be the, the way to go. And um, I, I, I think it's I think it's a wise decision. You know, it would give us better communication with our guys. And I know sometimes it's been really frustrating because cell coverage can be pretty spotty here in town. And, you know, when the town hall needs to get a hold of somebody to say, hey, we need to get this tree dealt with. And the guys have no idea. You know, it just becomes really frustrating. So I think this would be a, a good move. And I'd support it. I think we should go with the quote with the UHF, but by VHF portable radios for, um, you know, I don't know, four, five, six, seven, you know, I think we should have, you know, enough for the road crew, and I think we should have a couple of spares at the garage. So if they have flaggers and they have everybody else driving the trucks or whatever, and I think if we had one or two here at the uh, town hall in case we had some type of weather event that, you know, Brad or um, anybody could, you know, you know, be able to communicate with the guys. So that would be my recommendation to try to go in that direction. I did talk with the guys at the shop after I spoke with you about what we thought or that we all thought as a group of VHF and that was the that was the consensus of the, the road crew is to have the VHF and portables as well. And possibly I don't know if it costs more to get a separate frequency, but like utilizing for traffic control, if we were doing traffic control that it, it was a separate frequency. So it wasn't hmm. you know so they're not listening down here. Oh yeah, I have blue Subaru come in there. I think there's like a, a, a what they call a private line. So you can have the frequency, and then the private line would be at the end of that frequency. So it would be channel one. Let's say would be your regular channel for that you'd be on. And if you're doing just traffic control, you could go to like channel two, but that would be a different what they call a private line number. That unless you're like on that frequency and have a program that you wouldn't hear that. So I don't think that they would necessarily want to monitor right. that. But I, I think that, I don't know if they would continue. I mean, they have it. I don't know if you'd want to continue to have the, I, it seems like you would be monitoring the UHF frequency, you know, type of thing, because that's how you're going to be able to reach them wherever they tend to be. Mm -hmm. It'd be hit or miss if you were able to get them like now with the VHF. So this proposal is in the budget we're currently looking mm -hmm. at, right? So I did send you a note about the the additional right. uh, for more portables, for at least two more portables. Yeah, and I didn't add that. So once we have the budget discussion, then we can discuss whether we want to add a little for those extra portables. I think we ought to get nine. For five, five, one for each of you, two spares and two here. We get the fire belts too. <laughs> you just can say Russ. So, um, but would you need would you need portables if you have you're going to be in your truck or the loader or the grader? The the discussion we had was that <coughs> whether we use them like this or not. If we had one, 
and we we're out and we're plowing and it's windy and the trees are down. If, whether we get out of the truck to, to cut a tree, something unfortunately happened, got her in something. If you had a portable, you might be able to mm -hmm. pay any yeah. help, you know, that type of thing. That was really the only, the only real thing. Or, you know, if I end up using my truck for something I'd have a video or, I don't know. It's, they would be handy. I don't know about nine, but that's. I'm just thinking if we have, a, if we have a weather event, yeah. um, and you have people throughout town, you know, it might be handy if we had different people like in a pickup truck, like on um, Brad mm -hmm. having that, it may be invaluable. Right. And maybe that's something that you, what we want to do, maybe, you know, next year, keep it, keep it to what we really need now. And then we can look at this again, you know, see how it goes. And then maybe next year add on to it. I think with the weather events coming full tilt with climate change, I think we should do it sooner than later. Okay. I'm not, I, I'm good either way. I just, yeah. I just, I'm just thinking like, it just seems like every time the wind blows now, and I mean over 50 miles an hour, like we are, we are definitely getting trees down. Mm -hmm. The, uh, does it need it? technology upgrade every now and then or is this a one-time purchase that will last i think it's going to be a one-time decade or more i i promise to forecast i think it would be you know this will last us a while this going into this technology i think is going to last us at least a decade because i don't how think... long do the fire department radios you probably have about that i think they got a grant and i think they're they're right around 10 years and they you know they on a capital budget you know plan so i think they try to you know make it like seven, 10 years, and then they update mm -hmm. the, the technology. It's like your laptop. Right, it's just any, any, any electronic stuff now, it's just something else is bigger and better out there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how much are they a piece? The portables, 7.95. I mean, it just takes one event to say, shit, wish we had those portable radios. It'd be great if the cell phones worked. Yeah. You know, but if, the, if the, cell, the cell phone towers, you know, we're finding that, you know, they go down. You know, the power goes out to the cell phone towers and they have a battery, you know, that only lasts a couple hours and then they're done. So these guys aren't done. They're still out there, you know, trying to clear the roads and get the trees out of the way, you know, type of thing. So people can get to people's houses to help them or whatever, you know, type of thing. So it's just like, I don't know. I... There's no doubt this last weather event, I noticed a dramatic change in the signal. It was just, mm -hmm. it was really odd. It was like, we don't have the signal we usually have. And it was hard to communicate. It was, it was, we had, you know, you were driving to places where you know you could talk. And, mm -hmm. and this uh, upgrade would provide a guaranteed signal. With the, with the, um, the mobile radio, the, with the mobile radios in the truck, yes. The portable radios, it's going to be a matter of, you know, you're limited to five watts. So you're going to be, you're going to be hard pressed to call on the radio and go from radio to another radio more than a few miles away like the the fire department has a repeater on south hill so when i key up the mic on my portable radio it's going to a repeater and then it's mm -hmm. you know retransmitting that signal so i could talk to somebody on bear town or poker hill or whatever you know type of thing because of that repeater but if we didn't have that repeater i'd be lucky mm -hmm. if i could probably get past sand hill you know just in an emergency situation we could utilize the fire department's channel, I would imagine. The, the problem that we ran into with Shelburne, um, because no, I'm just saying if somebody is is pinned or hurt and they mm -hmm. can't, we can't transmit on the VHF portable yeah. yes. to another crew member. You could utilize that repeater as right. an emergency situation, right? Because that's being monitored. So you could say, "Hey, Shelburne, I need help." Right. Absolutely. So there's two in the budget currently now Correct. that we have. I think you need to add a few more. So 795. I'm just trying to get a number ready for later. Here. Okay. So just call it. Um, yeah, maybe not nine. You got two in there. So seven, maybe. If you want to add five more or something, then you'll let me know when we get to the budget. Why don't Why don't you go Why don't you go with five and get you know four used ones? 
I don't know. I mean, it's just like, yeah, oh, whatever. I mean, you know. I don't need anything go, brand new. I mean, you loan me your backup there. That worked fine. I looked older. Go, go. I don't know. Go with, go with at least five. And then I think, you know, maybe see how it goes. <clears throat> Take care of what we have right now. And then, you know, I think we're going to see a need for them in the future. And we can revisit this, you know, next mm -hmm. budget cycle. See, get a report back from us and say, yeah. like, yeah. How, did the, how did this work? You know, did it work good? You know, and if we find that we have money left over, you know, maybe we make the decision, you know, yeah. that we want to do it sooner rather than later, too. So by by purchasing five, you'd be adding twenty three hundred dollars and eighty five cents or I mean, twenty three eighty five. Okay. Twenty three eighty five. That would be for five. But did List. you say there's two already in there? Yeah, that's already built into the 16 so cents. I did the subtraction. So okay. five. So there's four guys plus one for here. No, plus there's two more. Five. Total. Adding five. Or We're doing five total. Oh, right? Five total. There's five four. Five total. Five. So I I took seven ninety five times five and I subtracted seven ninety five times two, and I came up with the, the number. The number. Yeah. I gave it was twenty eight. So that's three. <laughs> three more. Yeah, that's three more of our total of five. Okay. The only thing I don't see on here, but like some quotes, how long they're valid. So if this is a after July one purchase, I just well we got to get this budget down. I'm just so saying, should we yeah. cushion it a little bit yeah. for good? I suppose just in case. There's, so what is the total number now? Twenty three eighty five. So what should we say? Should we say three? Three. Three grand. If it's twenty three hundred dollars, should we say three thousand? Have seven hundred dollars cushion to? I think he's talking about. He's talking about. The total quote. when we look at the total quote instead of putting the actual number of this quote should we add a little bit right so that's what, what i'm saying too but so what what's the total quote if 16, we add 16632 plus 2385 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, is 19 so let's call it 20. so we have a you know Several hundred dollars, you know, up or down. Well, that's a thousand dollars. Yeah. Right. So once Until we get to funny. line, once right. we get to the budget, um, and yeah. we get to that one, we'll come back. We'll revisit this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do twenty. Because that's under a capital expenditure, vehicles, and equipment right now. Twenty cans goods. All right. Good with that. So far. All right. Next thing is uh, storm cleanup update. Um, we had a couple storms. We had a lot of mess. Uh, we still have a lot of mess, but we, uh, we did hire uh, Gordon Williamson with his log truck, and we did Irish Settlement and Pleasant Valley Road. It took us three days. Um, we've got the gist of it picked up. You know, with some of the snow melt today, you can see, whoop, we, you know, there was some that was buried a little bit, but mm -hmm. for the most part, it worked very well. Um, Gordon took the logs. Most of it was popple, so it was junk wood. Uh, he took all the logs, put those on his truck. We loaded. First day, we chipped on site. And then once we got on Pleasant Valley, we thought that chipping on site just takes longer. And mm -hmm. being on highly traveled road, that we, we hauled out the, the brush. So we loaded it into the truck and took it to the pit. And, and Gordon took a few loads to his place. So it's... Um, it worked very well. And we're keeping track of all that because I talked to the state. I don't know if they're going to declare this or not. They may because of the utilities, right? The, the FEMA event. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is they're not really recognizing the Saturday storm, you know, so it's kind of a little bit up in the air. You know, the, the ninth was mm -hmm. definitely recognized everywhere, but you know, Saturday was just equally as bad, if not worse, in some places mm -hmm. here. So we're keeping track of everything. I've been in touch with B Trans. You know, we just, these are the deals. I've seen this happen, I don't know how many times, you know, they, mm -hmm. uh, and I gave them an original assessment. I said, these are all the roads we had closed. This is what we, you know, these are the people we had out. I gave them some preliminary data so they could feed to the mm -hmm. to FEMA or emergency management. But, you're always best to not count on getting reimbursed. Do the best you can. If we get reimbursed, it'd be awesome. But. And I think the the next main problem here is going to be Paul Cook Road. If anybody's seen Paul Cook yeah. Road, but that is a mess. 
for his own. Mm -hmm. It's you know it's good and passable now, but there's a lot of cleanup up there. Mm -hmm. Be worth your close, you would be worth you just drive up there. And you had your own, yeah, yeah. yeah. It don't, looks like you're wrong. Don't get me wrong, uh, it can't it look like it can't go right through that corridor yeah. right there, right it's where all your house is. It's but, just, yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to start working on our other side roads and small areas. Mm -hmm. We can do some of that just ourselves, so uh, as time as time allows. Yeah. The cleanup on Pleasant Valley above my house was great. Thank you very much for the work. and. It's really well done. Because there's a ton there. Yeah. It would also be really nice if residents would take some responsibility. <clears throat> this is just my personal opinion. When the trees are on people's properties, and you guys were nice enough, for example, at my house, it was a tree from my property that snapped off and landed in the road in the midst of the chaos, and they pushed it onto my lawn. And it was still, you know, sticking out in a snowbank partially into the road. So I went out and took an hour and, you know, chainsawed it and cleared it away so that it gives them more room when they're coming through plowing. And mm -hmm. I think it should go on the record that, you know, it's these guys are doing the mo most they can, but they still have to maintain our roads. Um, you know, we had an ice event last night. We're going to have another possible ice event tonight. And they're busy and they're out straight. And I think we all need to be responsible for our own properties when and I'm not saying people who don't know how to chainsaw should go get a chainsaw, but you know, neighbors are willing to help and people should clean up, do a little of their own cleanup to help out the road crews so that they can do their job. Evergreen is that oh, same yeah. situation because we had a lot of trees that were, that got uprooted outside the right of way and landed up in the road. <laughs> so now we cut them up. We're kind of responsible for getting rid of that, but you're kind of just cutting everything back to the edge of the right of way, right? If yeah. there's something sticking well, out. We or... don't like to see you know, stuff. long stumps sticking out. All I can picture is a car going off and right. going through the side window or sense. somebody's windshield. So we go as back yeah. as far as we can, clean it up right? Um, the best we can. But Evergreen is a, you know, it was a situation where it was definitely all coming out of the right of way, oh, right. Out, way outside the right of way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Got all those... Uh, White pines, red yeah. pines, yeah, and they cleared some this summer, so it opened it, it up even more. Made it worse. So when it <laughs> did come, I just ooh, look at this new tree. That got that got whomped twice. Second time was worse. I was looking this morning when I was sanding that road. I said, "Oh, there's, you know, there's not as many trees to come down next time." <laughs> it really, it's clean. It's getting exactly. cleared out. So. The scotch pines sure got it. Eventually, it won't have any trouble up there. Yeah. All right. yeah, exactly. But again, I just want to say again, the help that we got um, with, with Brad, you know, the office help with some calls and things, some food, um, you know, Jed Bear, who was working for us at the time, he did a great job. Uh, Wade stepped up, uh, Gordon, John Angelino, just, and they were, you know, they were just so good to, we're fortunate to have these people in our back pocket to, to call on. Yeah, big time. <clears throat> but, um, the road crew did great. Fire department did a lot of help for us, and overall, it went it went pretty good for what we had going on. Mm -hmm. Did we pay those guys? Were they part of like? Yes, uh, yes. So I had when Gordon or Jed was on with us, part of the crew that week, anyways. Um, it was gone. Yeah. yeah, it was Wade was gone. Uh, Dwayne. Dwayne was gone. Um, and then when John came in, John did a little help for us on the first storm uh, on his own. Then he offered his assistance the second storm. And I said, keep track of your time um, because they are part time. We're basically part time people. So they we did pay them through. I'm just wondering, like, good. Wade and Wade Jay did not. And I was going to bring that up last week that we, we should do a little something. He doesn't want to get paid. Yeah. He said he's volunteering his services. <laughs> the guy's awesome. I mean, he helps, <laughs> out. he helps out up on Proctor Road, you know, or Marvin Taylor Road. He'll plow that for me because it's a son of a gun to get up in there. And he's he's just a – he and Jed both are just great guys. Good, good yeah. travel. And it was great to have the fire – it just happened to be that second storm on a Saturday, so all the fire department was in like full force. So they had their day off, but they were a big help for sure. We're ready for the next. Yeah. 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 So Corbett Road. 
So that is under me, but I don't know if I'm going to discuss that. I mean, that's Kurt's here for that. Or... I just put it under because it was kind of a highway. Yeah, yeah no, that's fine. I thought so, I included in the packet here. Um, okay, yeah. you know, we have, so the thing is, we have an invoice. Um, we have an invoice from the skip yep. file and some correspondence between um, Kurt and Tyler Brown from Fish and Wildlife, right? Right. Yeah. So probably Kurt's the best to I included everything in the packet. So. Yep. Okay. So Kurt, what needs to be done yet? I, I when this all started, I had a a, a piece of picture, mm -hmm. but I didn't have a real clear picture. I think uh, Skip's uh, article or his narrative that he wrote, um, I don't have it in front of me. Uh, after the last time explaining the process was very enlightening, mm -hmm. and um, also our last meeting when we talked about it. Uh, further the enlightenment and uh, uh, realize the importance of, you know, making sure this is done, especially with throwing money at it and we don't want to throw it at nothing. Right. So uh, what do we need to do to, uh, to salvage this um, so that it works? So if I listen to Skip, who has the most experience on this, um, when any of us in this room combined and so forth, he would tell you it should get fixed now. Um, everyone else is pretty much on the aisle, oh, let's wait till spring and fix it then. Um, his concern, I think, is simply that we know spring's coming, it's going to be likely high water, as it usually is, and he's concerned that the device that he put in earlier last year um, could get damaged um, if we don't repair the dam. From his perspective, uh, filling in the gaps on the two sides. I don't know if you've been out there to look at it. No, I was waiting for an invite. To, I thought we were all going to go out there. Yeah, I thought so too. With the, but we're waiting to schedule something with, you wanted to go with the state. Correct? I don't care who, whoever. Well, that was the way it was agreed on. We're going to go with the state. And I thought you were reaching out to the state. And we got I dropped the ball we'll, on we'll, that. We'll, okay. we'll, uh, I thought it was just, you guys want to get out there physically lay eyes on it. So, right, right, right. Pretty sure if we look back to the minutes, including yeah. on the state was. Well, either way, I haven't been out there. So um, I'd like to go out there. And whether I go with or without the state, I mean, I, I just would like to go out there and see, you know, and have kind of a bird's eye view, so to speak, of what we're really talking about so that when we get into this, right. you know, have a better under or hopefully we'll have a better understanding. Pictures worth a thousand words. You got it. Yeah. I can sit here and describe. Oh, oh yeah. 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 That's on the right sure. side and the left side. But. Um, I think yeah, I drove out and took a took sorry I took a look at it and I am concerned about the rock that is being put down in there. Like we should not be adding material into the wetland and certainly the stuff from the state echoes that. We have to get permits and Skip's perspective on that is there's a beaver dam in place. It got blown out. We need to resurrect the beaver dam. I know, but um, as so soon as we start adding, adding material, I know, as soon as we start right. adding rock, though, Different it's we're we're working in a white a waterway, and it does require permission from the state. Right, we're trying yeah. to rebuild the dam to the way that it was functioning prior to yeah. the blobs. Um, so the problem is, it's when you talk to Skip, it's <clears> like so from his perspective. There's a dam in place. We have to take the dam down mm -hmm. in order to build the device because you can't build it when you got mm -hmm. eight feet of water there. So we intentionally took the dam down, but mm -hmm. crew did that with the excavator, skipped it a job and put his device in place, piping out mm -hmm. to the point where the dam was supposed to be rebuilt. And then we rebuilt the dam. And in rebuilding that dam, we do as good a job as we can with the excavator, but it's not the same as beavers individually right, sticking understood. branches in there. I think Skip is run. missing a major point, though, relative to what we have to do in terms of being in compliance with state water issues. I am not comfortable with us dumping a yeah. bunch of rock in there. I'm just going to be very clear about that. Okay. I, we have so to get if permission. That's, if that's a concern you have, then that's easily addressed. And <clears> bring it up to the Army Corps and the state. Uh, we'll call team. Yeah, I, I think we need to need, uh, Number one, I, I would like us to schedule 
a look see at it um, as a group. And we could involve the state at some point, but I don't necessarily yeah. want to wait around for that. So I'm on borrowed time, as in right. Tuesday next week, this is hopefully going to get replaced. Um, so for me, it would have to be between now and Monday. Um, and I'm happy to do that. I make myself schedule wise clear. We're going to give you a, we're going to give you a laptop. We're going to go with the owl. <laughs> <laughs> As you're going away, as you're going to the light, you know, exactly. you know, anesthesia, you know, Russell hold the owl and we'll try oh. to pop it. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, don't take that deal yet. That's right. I don't know if we got time. I'm I think I'm around this weekend. I don't yeah, know if anybody else well we can talk, I guess. Yeah. Just yeah. schedule just perfect time I mean I would just yeah. like you know, so there are provisions about well, they're more storm related, but when they're storm related and you're assessing storm damage, you know, that open meeting law doesn't apply, but it's a little different than that. But maybe if Bob wanted to go out and you wanted to meet him there, I'm happy to one on one and then yeah. meet with all of them. And Patty, yeah, I've been there, it. I've seen it. And, I haven't yeah. seen it recently, but I agree with Patty. You know, I have got um, a very good rapport with the state and mm -hmm. Tina Heath. I've known her a long time, all the wetlands going back. Yeah in the 80s um and i hate to see us you know lose that good rapport um we're all trying to do the right thing yeah. here but we do have to be careful and not yeah, be too I'm aggressive and what skip's been doing for 30 years i, mean, I know i know but, but it doesn't mean skip's been it. doing it wrong Ex exactly <laughs> I mean, and not it's... his procedure but his... exactly and we own we own the issue <laughs> He's our contractor. We own, we're responsible yeah. for what he does. So if he's goofed it up, we get the, we get the violation, not him. Mm -hmm. And I just want to, this is, it's sensitive stuff that we all want to do the right thing. Uh, we want to make sure that the road isn't flooded, but yep. we still have to be careful. Do you have a question? Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. You may. So I just was wondering what you propose to put there instead of rock. Or are you saying don't do anything? Yeah, we're not saying anything. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not the engineer. But, 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 but dumping a load of rock into a wetland is just not correct. I'm not saying what the solution is, okay. but that solution doesn't pass the the gut check of being responsible. We, we would get. I I think we could get fined. as so, state to come down and find the town for that. Before we go too far. I think we need to look at it and then we need yeah. to we need to engage some people that do know all the ins and outs about this mm -hmm. and are qualified to answer some of these questions and clearly some of the stakeholders are going to be the state and we may have to involve you know an engineer person or something like that mm -hmm. or you know and i and well, i was cricket has anybody thought cricket. of cricket or mm -hmm. she would probably tell you that's not her thing okay. yeah. it's fine here we are yeah. I think next step is to look and then we can regroup and go from there and keep it on the front burner, so to speak, and pray that you peel up fast and Yeah, I'll, by spring I should be back in my feet, I hope. Mm -hmm. We'll wrap you in bubble wrap. But go, going through the Army Corps and uh, Tina Heath for the wetlands, um, no problem, it takes time. You understood. But Tina, you know, there's nothing to really, um, you know, delineation season in the spring, but this isn't a delineation issue. We know it's class too well, and mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. she'd probably be more than happy to do a site visit. We're yeah. slow here, yeah, you know, but um, I don't think we need to involve Army Corps, but at least get Tina there. Yeah, I mean, she might be able to give us some advice of what to do here. Certainly asked. That's your concern. Mm -hmm. I think you know there's certain there's certain things we can do within our right of way, right? Mm -hmm. But then once you break outside of that right of way, then you're in, then you're into right. You know that's where they really kind of lay down the law with jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. but. Did they did they actually get permission for building a structure outside the right of way? I'm not saying it's outside the right of way. I'm saying when you get outside yeah. of the right of way. No. It is outside. I mean, we've measured it. 
Yeah. Well, you, mean, you mean the, the right. beaver structure. The beaver baffle itself. Right. But that, like the previous one, it's outside the right of way. Right. By definition, they have to go mm -hmm. yeah. 20, 30 feet past where the dam is. So will that cause us any grief? Not getting, not getting. Did we have to I get a permit for that? Who owns that? Uh, <laughs> bad. Yes. I was just curious if they actually did the proceed, you know, got the, the permission. I think the um, both the device and the dam are on that property. I would say they're so. outside. We measured it. The dam is partially small amount of um, right away, but the most part is outside. Well, of course, you've got the stream there too, so the state might take jurisdiction on that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, even though it's on your property, they right. so what? So uh, I think we've we've addressed the issue that the board needs to go out there, and I think that that's where mm -hmm. we're kind of at um, as far as the next step. So I think we should <clears throat> work on a plan on when we're going to do that, um, whether it be individually or whatever. And I can certainly give you a call yeah, you tomorrow. Call and phone number. Patty's been there, and Dan, I don't know if you want to go or whatever, but yeah, I do. I would have time on Saturday. I, I, I may have time, some time tomorrow or sometime this weekend. I'll wait for it to be brutally cold. Uh, I, I <laughs> like it's cold on the weekend, so just give me a call, text, whatever, and let me know. Yeah. All right. We'll get it. And then between you and I, we'll get in touch with Tina. And <laughs> I'll give her a talk to the info and the report just to get their sense of it, too. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure they've had. Discussions about this sort of stuff before. Uh, yeah, yeah. I find it Tina's, Tina's a little more friendly to yeah, no, people no, than they are. Of course, right. Right. Been, been very good. good. Okay, good. Yeah, All right. same person. All right, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Thank yep. you, Kurt. Good luck, Kurt. Good luck with the meeting. <clears throat> good luck. Yeah. All right, 642, and next on the agenda yep. uh, item is uh, Amanda has. A proposal for to consider a text messaging add-on from Civic Plus or website people. Yeah, so we found out that we can, for a small fee, um, have uh, the mass communication texting. Um, we already have the email one built in, which we are not using yet. Um, but I was thinking for have you can set up as many groups as you want. But I was thinking like a general office reminders for like taxes or due, animal or dog licenses, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Maybe have a general road crew one where I'm closing my resettlement on Tuesday type thing. And then maybe having an emergency one um, and for like when the town hall was open. Like I didn't know it was only, I knew because Jennifer texted me, but I couldn't get Wi-Fi because I had no power. So I wouldn't have known that the office was even open that day. Um, so that would be something residents could sign up for? Yep, yeah. yeah, you can sign up for one, you can sign up for all. You, you choose what, what what notifications mm -hmm. you want to get, whether you get the email or whether you get all three texting or whatever. I don't want to bombard people though. Like I know I'm in some group text and I just jump out because I'm like, I don't want this. So I don't I don't want it to be overused, but I think it's a nice option to have if we do want to use it mm -hmm. and obviously we take suggestions from anyone as to what they think it might be helpful for um do we know um any communities that have that now and the, I, and the parameters in which they use that for um i do not know but i can ask around to any of the times i'm just saying like or maybe that might be something that we could go back to civic plus for to say like you know instead of trying to recreate the wheel if somebody's already some community out there has already said, yep, yeah, we're doing this, and here's the parameters on how we use it. You know, maybe we take what they've already established and say, yeah, that looks great. Let's modify it just a little bit, and that's what we're going to use too, you know, type of thing instead of, you know, work smarter, not harder sometimes. <laughs> yep. You know, just like I, I, think, I think that's definitely the operation end of it, but as far as doing it, Oh, I think it's all I right. I think it's a no-brainer. It's not expensive, and we can do up to 20,000 texts 20, for that. a year. A year. So. So it would be similar to what schools do for cancellation. Yes, exactly. So exactly. Do they? There's, is it just texting, or can you? Does it no, do the email, phone calls? email and texting? No. Um, no phone calls. No phone landline phone calls. It's either email or text. Okay. No one. You know, like say we had a massive flood event, and all of a sudden, fifteen Poker Hill, Poker right, Valley right, shut down. Right. Blast that out. Like we'd have to do some promotion to mm -hmm. say. We would. Well, our thinking was if mm. this gets approved that we would talk about it at 
at town at town meeting. Yeah, but also like just over the course of time, constantly, it's going to require a constant promotion. Hey, yeah. we have the service. Right. You can use it for taxes or do so you don't forget and just start to promote it so that people can go to the website, click on it, say, oh, I could get. I can Real add closure. it to the welcome letter. Every person that buys a new house, I send them a welcome mm -hmm. under her letter. I can put it on that because that tells the, the, I don't know if they have the dogs on there, but it does say tax dates on the letter, so I can mm -hmm. add it to that. Um, Unless she's yeah. going to put on the back end. Yeah, everybody who has yes. a dog will get a license. So. Like one or one. That's right. Yeah, yeah you could do it with a dog license. That's a good idea. Yeah, the too. dog license is <clears> not, um, flyer, so town yeah. meeting day reminder or remember to vote on November or whatever. Or yeah. culvert yeah. replacement and the road is going to be closed. Like people exactly. need to know those things and everyone isn't on social media and right. everyone isn't mm -hmm. check, doesn't Probably check their email every day. Right. Every, right. You know, it's, that's my way to reach a, people. A nice way. Yep. When Russ is selling pies at Harvest Market. And it's up to people to sign up. Yep. Yep, they can sign up and, and, and you can also have your name removed if you decide yes, you don't yeah. want it. If we are you. sending too many and you don't like it, you can always. So you um, would go to the Underhill website? There's going to be a link. Yeah, so okay. I would, you'd have to get this so link somebody out. Somebody self manages it though. They don't have to call somebody here to right. do it themselves. They don't have to. Perfect. They can. So what are the remember. mechanics of doing it? One of you have to. Uh, so you just have to email I need, and say go. I need you, you to sign the contract. contract. I have it over there. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. I already filled it out. Oh, you have the copy of it. So I make a, it's two sixty two thirty two. Two hundred sixty two dollars a year. For this year. That's just prorated because it won't be a full uh, year. So at, normally it's five fifty a year for, year. for the twenty thousand tax, I think. And if but we do don't it for have this year, then we'll throw it in the budget for next year. Right. Right. Yeah, we only need the I think the two thirty two or whatever that says now. Two sixty two now. No, we have to do it the budget tonight. I just no. put I put it oh. in the budget. Oh, you did. Oh, perfect. Okay. You know, so it's been in there for like five. So before we before we buy into this, I want to be very clear that we agree upon how the operationally how this is going to work. Mm -hmm. We'll come up with it. So you don't want to approve the. I do want to be very clear, like how we're gonna okay. we're gonna approve rules. I mean, it's a little mm -hmm. bit we're putting the. The cart before the horse we're buying something and we don't know exactly how this is all going to work you know type of thing so i'd rather have you know it all nailed down but that's just me well, we could have a protocol for it and decide what before it goes live what warrants yeah we would what warrants i would have just us log in like once it becomes active we have to fiddle with it first before we're going to promote it so we would have all oh, of us sure. sign up and test it see what we think it you know, what should we do differently before we send it out to residents? But then we could have a policy that states what's to be disseminated, right? right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's not to be. Like, Obvious. no joking around with it, like saying, oh, it's Sherry's birthday. No. <laughs> Even though I think we should. No. Oh. Chocolate cake, please. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. There's definitely. But certainly, if we had, if the, you know, if it hit the fan, Sherry's fan? Well, <laughs> and we wanted to get some information out. It quick. would be a it's great way to get information out. And I'm comfortable approving this for $262 and then let you guys come up with the protocols. Yeah, we can okay. revisit it. Yeah, you can right. bring the protocol back to the meeting. So yeah, exactly. put it on public record and uh, right. do that. But I would be comfortable I'm, too. I'm good. That's good. Okay. All right. So I make a motion that we approve the texting feature through Civic Plus and their quote of $262.32. Yep. And you don't need the 550. I don't think so. I think okay. the first year is the, the 262, the 550 okay. is in the budget. <clears throat> with, a, with a protocol to come back to the yep. select board. Before it goes live. Yeah. Yep. That's good enough. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 The motion carries three to zero. So I give you copies of the budget. Mm -hmm. um, that's the one we'll be using and looking at. If there was one little slight clarification or something in the, it's a little hair different from the one that was in the packet. Yeah, it had, but and not I will, much. But. Yeah, I'll tell you that once we get there. Um, so um, version six. Just I can have right. You got it. You got the same thing, right? 
No, but doesn't matter. I have I wrote down what the difference is on here. No, you're fine. You this uh, no, I'll use that. Um, so um, the difference from version five to version six. Um, I don't think I'll need it because I'm going to be on here. Um, were all the things that we all discussed. Um, line 87 was the deficit payment. Mm -hmm. And just so we're all clear on that, um, we're going to recoup um, per statute um, some of that deficit from fiscal year 2023. Um, we don't need to do all of what is a on the on the books deficit because it's not it's already self correcting itself in fiscal year 24 with the 100,000 that was voted on the floor that goes into the highway reserve which already has been entered actually will be increasing our unassigned fund balance. What line item was this? This is line 87 deficit payment. Oh, I moved I changed the line. Sorry, cuz it Sherry didn't want it in town clerk line. So I moved it. So where is it? <laughs> It's in line 87. It's not, in, not on here. No, because I made that change on here, I think. Hold on. It's not 87 is the town clerk line. Oh, okay. So it is on 87 then on there, but I moved it on this one. Well, it's not on it this one. I need, to, I, need to, I need to follow along on that. We all need to Hold be on the same on. thing. In our packet, it's 87. It should be line 87 in the packet you have. In the packet, but we're all looking at the brand oh. new budget that okay. I made copies. Okay, Brad, you don't okay. have to get. No, no, I'm Jesus this, Christ. That's okay. I'm just saying oh I have God. I made copies for everybody. Okay, so. so we're on where's the day. chamomile tea? <laughs> yeah. So, um, so let's skip that one because we'll get to it when I get there. Apparently. Oh, I, I found it. I found it. It's on 114. <laughs> okay, so let's wait because okay. we're going to. Yeah, no, right. 114 might work, actually. Um, because there isn't any other changes before that. I'm just looking for my orange changes out here. Um, orange changes. So it is moved down to line 114 under building and plant. Yeah. 75. Yep. Did not affect any numbers. It's just moved to a different location. Um, the next one that changed was 117 technical expenditures, and that is because. Um, and I included in your packet, or Brad included in your packet with the but other budget, the uh, Microsoft 360 um, proposal, which is through Tech Group, which switches our email onto a cloud based email program, which Brad and Sherry um, worked out so they can tell you more about it. But that is in here. Um, it's $10,500 for the setup, and then it's $898 a month. So that's why that number went up to 49,300. But it, right, it was right, but it was some of that was in there from yeah. Some of it was in there. We just didn't have all of it. Is correct. that correct? Yes. Okay. So it was in all the previous budgets you've seen before. The change was how much roughly? I don't. It doesn't uh, matter. I don't know. Yeah. But but that's what increased in that. That's what changed that line item. Um, one. I mean, I can look back at version five if you want to know what it. Well, I'm, I don't, it doesn't matter, I guess. Do you? Hmm. We're good. Okay. Um, the next one is line one twenty six, post office maintenance. That's because we talked about having to do some kind of a change on the walls. We agreed that whatever mm -hmm. has to happen with the floor structure, we're going to do that this year mm -hmm. in fiscal year twenty four. The wall covering thing. I added that into there for the post office maintenance budget. Um, then moving down to line, hold on, going down. Okay, this 215 is, is the one that it was not on the version that I sent you. And that is, we have had a $30,000 on and off in our capital budget for town hall to do the work up there. This is before our book, but we keep having it in there every year. And then we took it out the last two years because we knew we weren't going to get to it. But we put it into our revenue that we were going to do that project in fiscal year 25. So if we have it in the revenue that we're using some of that reserve, we have to have the expense at the bottom. Otherwise, we're inflating, we're overstating our revenue. Mm -hmm. So that has been added in there. And that was just something I caught because I had taken it out the last two years. And then I realized, oh, no. If we're going to do it, we have to have it in there. So that's back in there on line 215. 
but it was accounted for in revenue all along. Correct. Just needs to balance out. Two forty. You're is, talking about as ARPA, right? Um, the thirty is what's in the in in our in our in our reserve that we said we were going to use for okay, that, and so then ARPA is on top of that. Okay, yeah. It's not money we're raising from taxes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, technology. Um, what line are we? Line two forty, the orange one. Um, yeah. that is where is the highway technology, and that one is where I added in the Mansfield relay. So it, before it was just the, the license mm -hmm. for the cameras, and then I added in that fee of 21, 23, what's it per? The relay. $21, $21 a month per unit. Per unit, that's relay. what that is. Relay. The re the I called it the relay, the Mansfield the tower. Mm -hmm. What is it? Repeater. Repeater, okay, the <laughs> Mansfield repeater. It will be all be gone from here tomorrow anyway, because we don't mm -hmm. post the, our notes. Those are just for us. Um, and then line 264. But while you're right there, I just noticed a note above that. Yeah. Under uh, line 236. Don't you please? But 16 tires. I think it meant buy 16 tires. No, oh, yes. Yes. See, yeah. Would that have been when I mentioned it at the meeting? I don't remember bringing it up. Is that when that? I didn't bring it up as far No, I think that was buying so. 16 tires for next year. You said you're going to be buying, oh, 16, buying tires 16 tires okay. for next year. Well, maybe, so that's in that budget. Maybe I didn't do it all 100% wrong. <laughs> no, no, but that is what confused me when I went to go pay the bill. I'm like, well, he has that in the budget next year. That was a different thing. Um, and then um, under Bridges Culverts 264, we added the plastic culverts for Casey's Hill. So that one went up a little bit too. Um, and But we already own those culverts and we gave them away. We, uh, we have to buy three new culverts. Right. Six. We have to buy six. Six new have, culverts. Whatever, uh, the number you told me is what I put in there. I, I, we had it last year, last meeting, we all agreed. Right, I remember that. that. Yeah. It was like 3,800, I think. Yeah. And that's to, that's to deal with the parking, parking lot only. At, right. And we would, I, I think it's safe to say that they would never get used in an emergency because we don't use plastic. Right. Ever. Unless it's somewhere else. <laughs> Unless it's an emergency. And we've been having those lately. So it's earmarked. They're, they're going to be earmarked for Casey's Hill. You get it right out of the spray, go paint. spray paint. Casey's yeah. Hill. Oh my exactly. Exactly. Property of Casey's so Hill. Guy's too, but um, we got and then, of his columns. and then the next one is line 274 under capital expenditures for highway vehicles and equipment. This is the line we need some discussion on. Um, and as soon as we start changing any numbers on version six, um, um, we will then need to alter the warning. The warning, the warning has been written by Sherry before she left today, filled out with this budget as you're as you're seeing it, the printout that Brad handed you. So if we make any changes to this, I'll then need a few minutes to make a couple adjustments to the warning. Which we, could, which we have to do anyway because we added more radios. Right. So right. That, that's the only line I think it looks okay. like we're going to add to right. okay. is the radio. I so we need to decide that and then I just need you can start talking about something else, and I just need a couple minutes just to double check the numbers before I change anything on the warning. How about 10? 10, 10 minutes? Also, um, I don't think I'll need that long, but I just want a few minutes. You can also do it with a calculator, right? We can just add Yeah, one. but I, I'd like to yeah, just you do go it. sit over there and just yeah, double check that it's all right yeah. before we do anything. So that's how I do it. Yep. Yeah. Um, so what do we have? So we had the difference was 20. 385. What, what we said was that we wanted to make that what we discussed was potentially changing that from 16,632 to 20,000, which would be rounding it up and giving a little padding in the event that we wait until July 1 to buy these and the quote price goes up. So that's, that's, a for, that's for the radios. Correct. So it would be increasing this line by $3,368. Thousand three sixty-eight. You're pretty good at that. Right, thanks. Yeah. <clears throat> and this would be under the highway budget, or is this? 
It's fine way, but it'll that's, be easier if I just do this and the numbers no, change. No, I get it, but I'm just wondering for my own. You'll you'll see it process. once I make it if we're making it. I but it, you guys should match, and if you okay, don't, so I'm just right. saying, is this a highway fund change or a general fund? It's change? a highway fund. Okay, that's all I need to know. So, uh, anything else on the budget that you need to consider? Yes. Russ says yes. Line 239. Going up. Equipment and vehicle rental. So, the lease proposal for the truck that we are going to be leasing, um, that lease proposal expired. So I had Dan check and see if it had changed any, which it did. It did. So it was uh, interest rate gone up hmm. a little bit from 6.1 to 6.5. It was at 13.711, and now it's at 13.9. 13, 13.952.40. Yeah. So 200 bucks. Yeah. Is it even worth messing with? Well, I don't know if you, I, if you want oh. to have it the right number in your yeah, budget. Yeah, I just but wasn't sure getting a number on. So she didn't get it today. I don't think. I don't know if she did it. Right. Yeah, I so, give her the information she needed. We could just put it in at fourteen. Why don't we do fourteen? Okay. That's another three hundred. And then so why, don't we, why don't we wait until we're all done and then you can take the numbers? No, because no, there's, there's more. There's more that's going to come. Okay. And then. The other thing I've got is we had some discussion about the fuel building, the fuel tank building. Um, and I don't know if that, because that's an insurance requirement to get that done in our tanks in that containment. Um, I remember we talked about that. Was it the shed? Is the little there's a little shed you were the foundation's already there. You guys were gonna, yeah, Bill said that you were gonna be able to bang that out in the winter. <clears throat> well, Right, but we talked also that permitting, state permitting, Bob had brought up a town permit. <coughs> we did do a little research, Brad and I. Yeah. We didn't find anything for the previous permit, so is it less? It's less than ten by ten, right? No, it's more than ten feet by ten feet. Yeah. If it's less than two hundred square feet, it doesn't need a permit for the town. Right, and if it's less than ten by ten for the state, then you don't need one. It is 24 by 12. So it'll be um, $50, I'm guessing, because it's going to be I don't know, it's like, it's like seven or eight dollars uh, a thousand, and the minimum is 50 bucks. So what do we say? It's going to be like five thousand dollars with materials, and if we figure out our labor, it's probably another couple grand. So, but we're not charging any labor. No, but the state will say you know oh. you can't. Casper the friendly ghost doesn't build this. Oh, okay. You have to put some labor costs into. I think we figured it would be around five with the lumber. So it's a fifty dollars. It's, it's going to be a. I'm I'm saying it's going to be roughly a fifty dollar construction permit, and I don't know if there's any power that's going to be going to that or not. Power's already to it. So get a power for the pumps. Powers are going around. So in terms of labor, we just have to note the labor on the permit. Right, but the minimum is going to be fifty dollars for a state construction permit. And I don't think you're going to be going over right. that, you know, the threshold for the minimum. So it's just a matter of. I mean, is this repairs and maintenance shed office supplies? For building and ground maintenance. I don't know where you want to put it. We do have some money in that. We have some money in that line item. That's what I'm wondering. Is now, if you have it in, you have it in your budget now. I don't, well, there's money in that line. Whether we utilize money out of that line or not. What's the line item? Building and grounds maintenance line two, three, four. That sounds like a wonderful line item. Um, building and grounds maintenance line two, three, four. Um, just, I mean, so. Typically, uh, one year the budget was 10.8, and you spent 98. Um, this year, year to date, um, the budget's 10.5, and we've only spent 1,300 dollars. So there is quite a bit of money in that line right now. And then we could also add the close to thousand dollars that we had for that uh, 
device for the um, emergency generator to that too, I'm imagining. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't know what you coded that as. I haven't got that. We haven't got the bill yet. I don't want to go for that. Yeah. Oh, we got it on the credit card. All I had was the labor for Ward. Right. And I got the, uh, you got the invoice. We got the credit card. Yeah, so that one, I won't, but I haven't posted it yet. Okay, but I'm just saying, like, that would probably be a good line item to put that on. Yeah, if, if so, we, I mean, we could get started on it with some of that. And if, I don't know, we could have to look back and see what else came out of that yeah. budget in the past. And potentially not building increase the budget. That, the question is, do we want to add anything mm -hmm. into building and ground maintenance to, for July to cover any additional costs of this project? Or do we think we can absorb it in what you already have in that budget line item? The only other thing that we talked about, and I don't know if it's in there, Brad, was like we talked about that gate opener. Right. Um, right. I, I think that nine, that could have been some of that money. I'm thinking now was a dialer. We bought the dialer. Remember, we had to upgrade the dialer for the fire department, for the fire department, and we got the extra line. What's a dialer? A dialer for mm -hmm. the, um, if the smoke alarm goes off, it dials directly to the fire department. Oh, uh, gotcha. Kind of like gotcha. we have here. It's just a direct thing. Um, but, but yeah, yeah I think there was some gar I think you did some garbage removal that came out of that line this year. You did some cleanup in this fall. Oh, um, maybe culverts and stuff. You had some stuff garbage taken away, and I know that that's part of that thirteen hundred. So that's the kind of thing that goes on. That I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't think it's anything you've got to mess something. with for this. No, I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think there's anything you're gonna mess with for this budget. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to. It's one of the last couple things we have left mm -hmm. on our list. So yeah, just wanted to. So I can just really quickly change those numbers on the warning. So for the record, can we just state what we're doing here? So we're doing the we're rounding the radios up to um, twenty thousand. Twenty thousand, which is an increase of thirty three sixty eight, and then we're rounding the truck lease up to fourteen thousand, which is an increase of three hundred dollars. Yep. And then does the board need to make a motion to approve this version six budget with the changes? I move yes. that we accept the version six with the changes of okay. the budget. As a as a final budget to be presented at the yes. twenty twenty four. You're like psychic, you thought me exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I was gonna say it before I said it. Excellent. Second that motion. Any other discussion? Anything, Brad? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All in favor. Bye-bye. <laughs> this motion carries three to zero. Excellent work on all this, you guys, all of you. Okay, then all I need is a warning, and I'll just transpose these numbers real quick. You need to right here. Okay, can I have a copy of the warning just for a minute? No, take me literally for a minute. You, I think yeah, I just yeah. give them your copy. Yep. <laughs> No, best, best wishes, Kurt. On your, yes. uh, yeah, good luck good with good the luck. injury. We'll be playing soccer by town meeting day. <laughs> Still, I don't think I need to be here for that. Yeah, it's right here. So we did the budget, and we're going to come back to it. Yeah, and now we're going to do that. We're waiting on the Brad. So we're, well, yeah. we're waiting on Jennifer and then we're going to give the, the second interpretive dance. <laughs> so, um, mood music. <laughs> it's all playing in my head. <laughs> Close to the mood ring. <laughs> now you're going to? Unless you need me for something else. Mm -hmm. Thank you no, for coming text around. You. I'll text you. Our That's new fancy good. system, right? Let's not talk about line ninety-seven. Don't forget to sign that, man. Have a good one. I I won't forget to sign it. Yeah. You got it right in front of me. All right. We'll remind him. Brad can give it to me tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks man. We'll see you later. Good night, Good night, Mandy. Good night, Mandy. Good night, Holy crap, see
Yeah, that's pretty cool. We're in the we're in the zone for the other ones. Look how many more trees that block your view. <clears throat> cut them all down. Yeah, cut them all down and blow all down. <laughs> you could probably rent out, you know, tent spaces. Grab uh, that printer on. In our top field. Yeah. I can hang out with you the sheep. Even if <laughs> I can just can you cook that? Just just hit that side button, Russ, on my copier. Just touch it. You don't have to hold it. I had the numbers. It. I was just going to print it out so I can tell everybody <clears throat> yeah. before I give this to you. Um, so with the changes that were made, um, with the changes that were made before we get to the warning, um, the tax rate will be 0.5655, which is 0 0.0170 higher than fiscal year 24, which is 3.09% higher, which is about, I'm going to say $65 on a $500,000 house or something like that for the mm -hmm. whole year, something like that. Less than the school. Now, yeah. Um, Depending and on what the town does in the articles. The articles could change, would change that things. That might make it go up. Yeah. And those, if all of the articles that are on here were voted um, to pass, it would increase about another 3%. So you're looking at potentially a total of about 6% increase over fiscal year 2024. So we don't, we don't put that um, as if all the articles are going to pass in the budget? No. Okay. They have to pass. Those have to pass. Yeah. So. And then this is the then so that's that's the scoop. And I just I think I printed it. I don't know if it printed or not. Did anything print? No. So okay. what's the tax rate again? Point five six. Point five six five five. Thank you. Six. Point five six five five, which is point zero one seven zero less than two cents. Um, well, we just call it two cents. Round up. Did you want my two cents? I'm just kidding. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, no, we're not rounding Eight anything. Cents. So that's that's the budget, and then I, as it is right here, will become the final budget that you just approved. Um, and then here is the warning. It changed slightly. Yeah. What did you get for numbers? Um, nothing changed Article on Article four. Three. Article Four. Um, shall the voters approve total highway funds of 1691639, yep. of which 1576639 shall be raised by taxes and 115 by non tax? So, I got. so now we can, I'm going to give that back to you, Patty, and the numbers, and then you just stand there. Um, you want me to make a quick copy of that so they all look at the same thing? Yeah, what the heck? Like just that it. first page. Yeah. And then if we could reprint the um are you on the are you on the network here? I should be. Okay. That's what I was trying to print tax page. Yeah. Buddy. Um the whole budget. If you are on the network, if you could make that change in the warning, and then we could have them assign it. I don't have it's one. on the seat, it's on the it's on the shared drive. Okay. There's a word document. Okay. So it's 2024. <clears throat> I might be able to get to it actually as well here. Let me see. So I thought we're talking about the warning. Yes. So I thought that um, the move, the proposal to go from three to five members of the board. Yeah. That's going to be. That's not voted on the floor. That's like Australian ballot, right? It has to be. Correct. Right. So I thought we also were going to put on the um, as an article that the. Um, additional um they would have to vote on the additional money for those members on the board to get the same stipend that we're getting no no you can't, no, you can't that... do an article like that because you're anticipating something happening so you got to get to this point first and then and then how do you then how do those two positions get funded well then they're going to have to get funded so, uh, you well, they, can't... They, they would they would get added to the budget after yeah and it's already 
the stipend that was already changed last year. Right. So the stipend is the stipend for select board. Right. So it's no yeah. different than a truck loan. Or yeah, a, no, I, I, I get all that. Yeah. So you're, but what you're saying is, is that there's $15,000 in there right now mm -hmm. divided by three is 5,000. So I guess I'm looking at this from not necessarily an economic standpoint, but now you're saying that, you know, we would then, if there's five of us, then we're getting 3,000. So I'm just saying like, no, 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 no. You're going to add another 10. If every, it's passed, every article so, that passes, you add the money to the yeah, budget, but they have automatically to, because they voted on it. Right, but then they have to, but they have to approve the increase for the salaries for the select board, right? The, the ten thousand dollars for no, the select board did. are set. They already do that. But so you can't add those. You can't add that extra ten grand in because you don't know if this is going to pass. Okay, that's what I've been told. I asked. That's explanation that question, is right. what Dan just said. Like if you, if a truck passes. That gets put in, or any article gets passed, yeah. then it gets added to the budget. Right Does after. the article need to state the budget implications? No, of... I don't think so. It's it's a given it's because all the others. The stipend is set from the floor from town meeting last year. Yeah, yeah. five thousand yeah. dollars per. But I don't. Board. I don't know if people. I'm with mm -hmm. you. I don't know if people actually realize that, like that. You know, this budget that you're you're voting to approve is going to cost you ten thousand. Exactly. That that right. vote. That won't cost you. 10, well, that can be brought up at the discussion. What was it? Yeah, that's the. Are you that's... allowed to bring up and discuss? Absolutely, we can discuss items? Australian ballot question. Okay, definitely. That was a change. So, for, so for part example, of the hearing. So, for yeah. example, Article Ten says, "Shall the voters allocate an additional?" You can't change anything. Oh, sorry. Shall the voters allocate an additional four hundred eighty-five to support steps to end domestic violence? Right. Very specific what people are voting on. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't Article Thirteen include the price tag with it? I'm just asking that as a question. I asked her that question, and she said that you you couldn't even entertain that for some reason. And um, we could get her on the phone, but I mean, Article Seven: Shall the voters authorize the purchase of a dump truck and borrow an amount not to exceed? There's a price tag for no, many I get of these. It. No, what you're saying makes Why sense. Why not include the price tag so that because if I'm I don't have a clue if I'm a normal person. Right. I'm not I, part I, of town government. I understand I'm that. I'm not. I'm, right. Come out well, <laughs> yeah, you, I know, you know what I'm saying. But a normal person isn't intimate with all the details, yeah, and they have no idea that there's a budget implication to that, adding $10, two, two more people to yeah. the select board. They don't have a clue. So the average person doesn't know. Why not add it? So they know. If it's legal or not to do, I don't know. I mean, we have price tags on many of these. Yeah, right. But it's a question. But see Should what I'm saying? There's, a, I, I, there's I an election involved, or there's a. So first of all, we got to get to the point where the voters allow five members, right? Mm -hmm. Then we got to get to the point where we actually have five members. I don't know. I don't know if that, but I don't know that the line. Is, I think it's it's all one and the same. You're saying it's two different things, and I'm like yeah. it's all it's all one. Right. Like you, if you approve this, it's going to cost ten thousand right. dollars. I yeah. think we should get Sherry on the yeah, horn. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It would definitely sound clear if it just said, shall the voters approve, blah, 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 yeah, where's the, at a rate of 5,000 per member. It's, uh, yeah, it's on. I give it back to you. Uh, there's, there's no back page. Right. Mm -hmm. Staples is on. There is. Shall the voters approve expanding the select board from three to five members? All right, Sherry. So... Ask her if she can zoom in. Zoom in. Question, no, she can't. The question is um, what we were talking about before. Uh, Why is he going? I can't remember. Well, it's open. Open. Yeah. Okay. So the So I got a problem. Can they add that in? Can they add that in to the article? Okay. What do you mean? I move that we go into executive session. To discuss a personnel matter. I feel like I feel we're in violation of open meeting law right now. A question's been asked. If 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 uh we wouldn't be if uh, he comes back in here and Sherry makes a statement on her speakerphone. But 
I have a problem with a town official being asked a question and being made available to answer questions of the board that I don't feel that this should be, these questions should be being done in a vacuum. These need, these questions should be asked in public, in the public view on the record. So I have a problem with the town administrator now having a conversation with the town clerk outside of the purview of the board. Those questions and comments should be on the record in front so of the board. So can Sherry make a, a state? So she can. So what she just, I can put her on, but she's at her granddaughter's birthday. But if you want me to put her on, I can. But I'm just, I can relay what she said to me if you'd like. Or do you want me you to put could, her on? You could do that. And if she can make a statement, probably. You cannot change that article because that was what was on the petition. That article cannot be changed. Because of the petition. Yes. The petition. You cannot mess with that article. Um, what does the petition say? It says exactly that. So, so can we have their... another article that says that, um, do you move that the two additional positions what, proposed? So, so what she further went on to say, the select board stipend is 5,000 per select board member. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that has been set. If the select board members increase from three to five, then that's what needs to be paid. So let me let me put her on. Well, what, well hold, hold on. Before you, before you push some more buttons, can I ask a question before yeah. we get Sherry on the phone and sure. interrupt her? Well, I have her on the phone. Yeah. Go ahead. No. What's the matter, Bob? I gotta use the bathroom. Okay. Hang on, hang on, um, Sherry. I'm just gonna. Yeah, that makes sense. That's, uh, that's what the petition says, and you can't change that. Does the petition state anything else to frame the like what I don't is it just those words of what the petition says? Yeah, so is the that petition, it? Right. So there's so, no. But you could no, add maybe another article. I'm not sure of that. Right. You know, but you can't change the petition. Okay. The wording in the petition has to go on the ballot. Or has to go on. We get that. I'm just so it's see, the education around the article. Yeah. So you can't really add another article saying that if that gets voted down, it changes a vote from the floor last year yeah. that yeah. raises a stipend. I so you can't, can't re, re yeah. Can't, talk about the stipend. Yeah, so please. you know, put you on speaker in a minute. If that's what yeah. the petition says, then that's what we have to go with. Yeah. So it is what it is. I just. Like I said, the average person who's not familiar with all the details is kind of voting blindly. That's why we have hearings on the the yeah. and I, I don't. They would need to know. I think there would be an assumption that it would cost money to have more people mm -hmm. involved. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, but Bob's in the bathroom. Hold on. It is what it is. That's what the petition says. And yeah. Yeah, I think Brad, I think Bob wants to hear it. From no, no, I know. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. All right, so it's on the record. Yes, so the public. Yes. Right, right. Okay. But, yeah. She was waiting to put it on the speakerphone. Uh, wonderful. I asked that you wait in, before you made the phone call. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry that I had to no. use the bathroom, but I asked you. I really don't need to be belittled about how to use a bathroom. I, I'm, I wasn't a sandbox. Well, I just thought you were upset girl. that I was like holding you, you off. Know, I, but here she is on on me. I'm good. Do whatever you want. No, no. No, no I'm serious. I'm on the record. Do whatever you want as it relates to Article 13. Jerry? Yo. Are, are you guys in open meeting? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Okay. So how it works, it's, it's, can everybody hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So how it works, it's no different than having something on the ballot like final truck. Um, it gets created out, you add the money after. You can't add the money now because the two seats are not available. Right, but that's not, that's not what we're asking, Sherry. What the question is, the wording for Article 13 has, no uh, clarification around it that it has an impact to the bottom line 
So they can't have hold on. Impact. So Sherry, hold on. So in several of the other articles, and actually the vast majority refer to a price tag with them. So for example, Article 7 says, shall the voters authorize the purchase of a dump truck and borrow an amount not to exceed 290000 so on and so forth. Exactly. So I know exactly what you're saying to me. So you the question, have... right, but Sherry, the question that I asked is, can Article 13 include reference to Shall the voters approve expanding the select board from three to five members, which will cost, I'm just making this up, which will cost $10,000 for the town of Underhill? It's basically adding. Which would add $10,000 to the general it's, budget. It's adding information to the article because the average person has no clue that this budget, that this item is going to have an impact on the budget. I agree. However, you can't change the wording because that's how the petition came in. What you could do is um, you could add an additional article that says, well, you can't do that because you're already funding the select board. Most people didn't even know that we were giving you guys $1,500, let alone $5,000 now. Right. That's what I mean. The average person does not know that the select board is paid. Could the article, exactly. could the article well, state... Could the article state something like, if the no, voter... Because when the article, no, because okay. when the article is written, it has to speak strictly to going from three to five. And so when I was talking to VLCT, it, it can only be that. And because when we vote on it, um, we, let me think about this, we don't have the vacancies yet. I know what you're saying, but because we haven't created that vacancy, mm -hmm. you can't, you, you know, you, you can't deal with money. It's not our fault that the public doesn't realize that we're paying people. Then they got to read it down the board. I'm not trying to be a ship. You know what I mean? Um, I, I guess I was, I was just asking if an additional article could say if article no. 13 passes. Well, you no. could say that. I think that would be fair enough. I, I think that. I think that's muddy. Can you just educate the republic? We're going to, we're going to have to educate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's what the hearing is for. Exactly. And I'll bring also, it up at the hearing. I mean, I'll bring it up as to why I why you know this petition came forward that we're aware it's going to add an additional ten thousand dollars. But I, we can't we can't do something if the voters haven't already given us authority to do it. Yeah, my point is just it's every other article listed has a price tag with it. This is the only one that doesn't. Yep. Uh -huh. And it just it's it sends an education piece if it was able to include the price tag with it. But if the petition, you know what I'll do is I will we'll do something through front porch form. I'll craft something that says you know here's what we're doing and just be mindful um, that this will create an extra ten thousand dollars on the budget. I would do a pros and cons and just let people know via the, the pluses and minuses to it. That there is so a why, there is a financial why, impact of voting yes for Article 13, and that's a $10,000 increase to the budget. I think that's a con. Most people would consider that. It a con. is, but I but I think we have to be careful. That the question can't sway people. Agreed. It, but we need so, to educate the goods and the bads, like the. The, the balancing act here of what it means well, to have, go from three to five. Well, then don't make it a pro or a con, just say that's what it's going to be. Right. That's true. It's not a pro or a con. It's, your, inter it's your interpretation of. That's true. Yep. Agreed. Well, why don't I craft something and then, uh, Patty and Wally, you and I work on something that I can put out on front porch form to educate people. Happy to work with you on that, Sherry. Okay, perfect. Yep. I think it's a good, I think it's a good plan. Because okay. I was prepared to bring that up during the hearing. Okay, and so the wording stays as is. And yep. this can also be this can also be discussed at town meeting, right? Because we can discuss Australian ballot. Oh questions. God, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. It is a little odd. I, I got to admit that there isn't that implication of the ten thousand being added to the budget. Like well, when you go to the VLCT website, and and I'll share this with Patty, and I'll bring it up at the next meeting is when you go to the website, um, they have wording. It's very, very specific for some things. 
because that's the voter that's the that's the part i was talking about about being binding so the lct and some of the statutes give you language mm -hmm. to use and that's where i took it from but i'll get some clarification and um uh, see if we can't work on it um and, and i know i got at least a, i'll contact the lct tomorrow and then i'll call patty okay sounds good does that make sense yep I'm good. Yeah, because it's it's like everything else. If it passes, it would be no different than if something got raised from the floor. We're just going to add it. Dead silence. What's going on? Checking the weather. <laughs> no, we're all okay. No, I think that makes sense. Makes sense. Thank you for uh, uh, coming in, Sherry. Glad to help. Let me know if I can be further assistance. Have a good night. All right, you thank you. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can um, make that change up on those numbers, but I don't know where it is on this S, S drive. Um, I yeah. have it on my computer. I just didn't know where it was. Yeah, I can um, just show you quick if everybody can. Just... I plugged in. To... Can we do something else while? Uh... It, it just takes a few seconds. Apparently not. Yeah. Are we good to go then? No, we have to wait. We have the numbers though. Uh, Warren, okay. be careful. There's two of them in there, but it'll be actually due on date modified. All right. So if you wanted to. Um, She's gonna print the. She's gonna print the um, warning with the changes, and then I suppose it would be proper to read the warning and and make a motion if you want to to approve it, and then sign it. You could use this copy if you'd like, because it's the same thing. Um, read the whole warning. Well. Read the articles. Thank you. Article one, to elect a moderator for the ensuing year. Article two, to hear the reports of the town officers. Article three, shall the voters approve a general fund expenditures of one million six hundred fifty five thousand five hundred seventy three of which one million three hundred ninety six one oh three shall be raised by taxes two hundred fifty nine thousand four seventy by non-tax revenues pursuant to 24 bsa paragraph 2664 article 4 shall the voters approve highway Total highway fund expenditures of one thousand one million six hundred ninety one thousand six hundred thirty nine, of which one million five hundred seventy six six thirty nine shall be raised by taxes, one hundred fifteen thousand by non tax revenue pursuant to twenty four PSA number two six six four, paragraph. Article 5, to transact any other non-binding business thought proper when met. Article 6, to elect all town officers and school directors as required by law. Article 7, shall the voters authorize the purchase of a dump truck and borrow an amount not to exceed 290000 for a term not to exceed five years pursuant to 24 BSA. Paragraph 1786AP. Shall the voters allocate 100,000 that the town receives for state aid to highways into the highway uh, capital reserve for the next five years? Shall the voters exempt the property of the Underhill Jericho Fire Department from taxation? for municipal and school purposes for a period of five years, pursuant to 32 VSA 
number three four three eight four zero. Article ten shall the voters allocate an additional four eighty five dollars four hundred eighty five to support steps to end the domestic violence. Shall the voters allocate Article eleven an additional one thousand to support the chair of the farmers market? Article 12, shall the voters allocate an additional $600 to Mount Mansfield Community TV? And Article 13, shall the voters approve expanding the select board from three members to five members? Is there a motion? I, we, I move we approve the official warning um, the articles 1 through 13 as read by Dan Steinbauer. I'll second that. Any discussion? Um, actually, part of the discussion, Article 6 definitely has a budget implication, but the number isn't written there. Every time somebody marks on the on the ballot, there's a budget implication. There's not new positions. Those are not added positions. That's just, it's a the town. But, but there is. You know what I mean? It's not. There may be new positions in the town officers. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. OK. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Yep. No. Dan Steinbauer, aye. Patty Richards, aye. Bob Stone, no. This motion carries two to one. So I don't, I don't, I'm just going to say, Bob, I, I didn't mean to. I don't need to. I, I'm not going to, uh, but can, I just don't think um, we should end this way. I think um, a, a warning should be united. And I think if Bob has some issues, they need to be worked out. I apologize if I've been a little short tonight. It's been a very long week. I've mm -hmm. had three very late night meetings and it's always stressful getting right down to the mm -hmm. wire with the town report and, and so forth. So um, is your vote now relative to Article 13 and not putting the price tag on? Has a lot to do with it. Even though legally you can't do that. I believe there's got to be some type of workaround. I think Bob is right with the adding another article would seem to be the logical choice. Like saying, yeah, but it's like an if then statement. It's I don't. You but, can't you can't be persuasive. Yeah, I see. Right, exactly. I see. And another exactly. article would try to persuade. I do. I do believe Sherry is right though about um, that the article can't differ too much from the. Um, the petition. From the petition. If that's what the petition said. We have the petition. And, and I'm sure that um, there are legal ways of doing a petition. And mm -hmm. she screened it with VLCT. Um, the other, you know, the other idea would be you would be, you know, 10,000 in the hole with contingency. You know the money's got to be picked, come from somewhere. I I think the money the money is the money will the money will be found. That's not that's not the issue. I just I think that the voters need to, you know, go into this eyes wide open, knowing like what they're what they're voting on. And I and I don't think that they have a clue. And I I think that they deserve a right to know. And if they they come to an informational meeting, they will clearly know what they're voting on. But the average person coming to um, to look at those articles, uh, unless it's brought up there on the floor, they're not going to know, you know, exactly what they're voting on. And 
the whole point is the warning. You know, try to educate them when they get the warning and the, the town report goes out. So I don't know. I mean, I agree with you, Bob, that it would be better to have a price tag with it. But if the petition doesn't, that's why I want to pull up, I'm trying to pull up the meeting packet. I want to read the petition. I and the I, petition and I think we can market the hell out of the whole, I mean, the whole thing. To start, have discussions. Open, open, honest discussions with people about about all these items. Because I think people are also going to be confused. Honestly, I think people will get confused about some of these other things. Shall the voters allocate an additional thousand dollars to support the farmers market? People, yeah. the average Joe doesn't know how much we pay because they don't. Mm -hmm. They don't. And they don't know why this. that's an article and like, because it's already in the budget. Right. We already. Pay, we, how much do we give them now? Why are we giving them more? You know, they don't know why that is. We have to educate them. It's policy. So I a mean, a lot of this is policy stuff. And maybe had the petition said, said well, yeah. But we don't have any control over the petition. We don't. As, as the board, we don't. That's not ours to monkey right. with. This is ours. Right. That's true. This is yours. And But if we can't deviate from the petition, does anybody have the petition? Yeah, we got it. I would like to see it. We'll I can pull it up. I have no idea. Where and it's not a petition that we have a choice of rejecting. No. Right. It has the the signatures. You can't touch it. Right, the signatures right. are yeah. on it to move yeah, it forward. Else that yeah, he's going to have another Thank you. early morning. <laughs> Hopefully not. Thanks, Russ. Thank you. Good meeting. Thank you, Russ. You're welcome, Jack. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Maybe. Right and early. In the morning. Mm -hmm. this, this morning was sideways driving. Because you left before I got there. I did. <laughs> Next time I'm going to wait till I see you come through. Was it icy? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's an understatement. Why didn't you wait? No, I had work to do. I got deadlines. That's true. I didn't know it was that slippery. Exactly. Or I would not. Or I would have waited. Yeah. There it is. There it is. I think, Bob, what you're saying, it makes... If the petition doesn't have it listed, and, and Sherry's correct in that we can't deviate from the language of the petition, then we don't, then we don't can't have a choice. Include it, and then it, the responsibility it's our responsibility to educate what that means. That there is a financial impact to it. Yeah, but I don't understand then, and it's so my own. cover letter on this. I, I don't understand then why we can't put a footnote or we can't put, even if it's, you know, if it's factual, and we're not trying to sway anyone, but at the end of 13, it doesn't have to necessarily be 14, to say that. Um, why can't you just say in parentheses, uh, if this passes, it will cost $10,000. The impact, the impact of passing Article 13 will add $10, an additional $10,000 to the bottom line budget. Yeah, I don't I'm understand. more than happy to get Joe on the phone, too, if you want. He would, yeah, he would talk to us. And the petition says, shall the voters approve expanding the select right from three members to five members? That's what it says. I think that that would be a a good thing to do when Sherry and Patty. Uh, yeah, but we need to have this. This has, the warning has to be yeah. signed, and we have to have it off to the. <clears throat> we already <throat> voted on. Right. Brad's trying to get a consensus, but we have already voted on it. I, I know, but I'm I don't it doesn't make me feel good to see to not see Bob's signature mm -hmm. on the warning. I wouldn't that doesn't sit well with me. And I don't think it would sit well with everybody else. In the future price tag should always be included for anything we're voting on. If I'm voting on a school bus, I'm voting on the school bus. So I think it but always has a price tag. Then I think what needs to happen is when someone comes to the town office and says, I'm going to do a petition, we aren't allowed to see. That's the thing. I don't think a town employee or maybe a town official, I don't know if you can tell someone what they can or can't put on a petition. You could suggest, you could say, hey, that's great. You want to do this petition, and 
Well, what, what are the what, budget implications? Well, what happens if we have policy that says any any petition that receives will result in the the, the price tag of any proposed? If know, there's any budget implication, and, and there's it any must be. That it has to be. Has in, to has to be included in for the uh, for the voters to consider. I, I think that makes sense. I just don't know if the, what statute says. Yeah, I'm sure is coming. She said it's just really foggy out, so she's on her way. Who is? Sherry. I thought you were gonna get Joel on the phone. I I, I texted him. Oh, I, I didn't want to just call him. It's almost eight o'clock. I could call him. He was, um, he won't mind. All right. I just want to. Can I talk to him for a brief second just to let him know we're in an open meeting? Just ask mm -hmm. him. That's all right. This is getting crazy. Mm -hmm. Seriously. We're in the, what is the phrase? Totality path? Oh my God. Like the airport's like charging $100 a person to go to the airport. Um, I'm not picking up. Keeps I'm just I just sent him a text. Hundred dollars to go. Yeah, they were talking. Shelburne Farms, hundred dollar, hundred and fifty dollars. You get a drink and you get to go on the Ticonderoga and watch this eclipse. Like it's going insane. Yeah. I might start sound. I might exactly. charge admission to have people come to my house. Yeah, I'm worried about people that's, hiking up to the top of Mount Mansfield. That's the problem. That's the worry is that in the in the park isn't open and the state is opening the parks and it's just like that's why I when we, we get to that point in the agenda I was going to um, bring up. Do you want to pass this by for a second and keep moving on with yeah, the sure. agenda? So, uh, public kickoff meeting. Let me see what. Schedule. What does that look like? So, um, we've got some plans. We've got some concepts. The 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 scoping study people always do a kickoff meeting to get public input. So they put up some maps, they ask some questions about use of sidewalks, they get as much information about how people are currently like traveling around now. And um, I'm proposing that um, in February, um, your, your second meeting of the month is the 22nd. Um, unfortunately, that's a little too early to hold the informational hearing for town meeting, which we have to hold ten within ten days. For the sidewalk event? No, no, I'm segueing into the sidewalk here. Just um, so the twenty second is your last yeah. is your yeah. last scheduled meeting of the month. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking we could do an informational hearing on the 29th and the sidewalk kickoff. You're going to have to have a special meeting. Right, or, right, right. Uh, informational. So don't we have to two, have two informational meetings? No, just one. Just one. Okay. Within 10 days of town meeting. So right. the 22nd and I doesn't am, work. I uh, actually, I was going to say that in terms of when the schedule was, but I'm unavailable on the 22nd. I think I'm going to be out of town too. The 29th, how are you guys? We could skip the 22nd meeting, just do it all on the 29th. I would be available on the 29th. I would be available on the 29th as well. Wait, is that right? Yes. Is that right? February 29th, last day of the month, leap year. All right, we had to main for race. So, I'm sorry, I'm going to be out of town from the 24th through the 2nd. So the 20th, I can do the 22nd, but I can't do the 29th. Are you available the 22nd? Uh, I am available the 22nd. So we could still have the regular meeting just mm -hmm. without Dan. Yeah. Um, 22nd is better for me. Uh, we could also have the sidewalk. That is a, a secondary um, date we picked. 
either the 22nd or the 29th. The problem with the 22nd is Cy Serpelli, who's regional planning. He's kind of the, he's the liaison between Chittenden County Regional Planning and the consultant. He's not available that day. But. Does he have a, uh, he, he said it's. Somebody can represent him? It possible, yeah. I told them I would get back to them with either one of those dates. Um, yeah, consider the 22nd or the 29th. So, I don't know how you feel, Dan, about missing that event. I think that, that would be okay. Okay. So I could tell them the 22nd we could plan for because the 29th it just isn't going to work. And when we get a little closer, maybe next select board meeting, we could talk about the informational hearing. It's a month out, month and a five weeks out. Sure. So unless you want to schedule it now, I, I'm either way. And the time frame we have to schedule the informational hearing? It has to be within 10 days of town meeting. So one, two. So it could be anywhere from Saturday the 24th right up until Monday the 4th before town meeting. So we pretty much need to do it on the last week of February. Last really. week of February, 26, 27, 28, 29. So right. Like and it could be a an odd <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we can we can figure that out. So, um, all right, so that's that. Uh, the next thing Bob asked to put the, uh, the solar eclipse on, and I included just an article I found in seven days that give you a little background. But, and I also give you this here. Right, so there's a major, major event occurring, if you don't already know, on April 8th with a total solar eclipse. And State Emergency Management is conducting uh, weekly meetings to discuss this very topic. One of the items that they are considering, there's, I can't remember if it was 100 or 200,000 people that they're expected that are going to be in our area to witness this event. Um, the state is trying to determine where all these people are going to be or go um because their feeling is that they're going to be here on that weekend and there's only so much capacity uh for that number of people to be here um so they are looking at right now they're looking at what caught my attention right away is that they are talking about opening up the state parks early and um i'm concerned that if the state opens up um the state park here in underhill um what that what that potentially is going to do and usually there's a lot of snow up there at that time of year so i i really think that we should close the road um um uh, at the bottom of the hill and then preface it by saying that uh local through traffic only but the road you know and we can certainly send a letter to the residents that live from the bridge up on mountain road and you know, in Stevensville and have it closed, you know, before you get to, uh, you know, from retribe, you know, put a mark this road that is closed and, um, and that it's only for through traffic only. Um, you know, that might be the same for Stevensville. That's what I mean. It's Stevensville and on mountain roads. So to limit the number mm -hmm. of people, because I think they're just going to turn into a, a major bottleneck. Yeah. Um, and you know, the residents are going to be the ones that are going to suffer as a result of that. Um, and I'm thinking that we should probably be a little proactive and we should purchase signs um, and educate the residents like this is coming and this is what we're planning to do in anticipation of that problem that we're not prohibiting you from going on a closed road, but we're trying to limit the number of people from out of town, you know, going on that road and then parking alongside the road, even though it says like, well, I even think that 
<clears throat> our road ordinance says like you know April 1st they can park alongside the road like you can't park the parking ban is from it's the 15th 15th of April yeah, so it'll still be there so we will we'll, we'll likely be in mud season and we'll be likely having to deal with a potential of influx of out-of-town yeah. people and if they're going to open up the state parks then that's going to be an issue <clears throat> I don't see how they, it seems like there'd be snow up there still. I don't know. So what, what, what is their plan? Uh, open up the state park uh, yep. camping? These people are going to have to go somewhere. Viewing and everything and hiking up the trails. But the trails, those trails are all technically closed to Green Mountain Club. Those trails are closed for hiking when the snow is gone up until. Like May. Yeah, yeah May. Yeah, end Memorial of May. Day. Memorial yeah. Day. So, right. but, it, but the problem is if there's, it'll be, if there isn't snow, it's going to be a muddy mess. Exactly. I, I would like there's to, nowhere to make, turn around. make a decision on our own until we uh, hear from what the state wants to do and uh, maybe have somebody from the state come here and, um, you know, from the parks. We could certainly. Or call in um, to our meeting so that we know what we're going on. Um, it would be. I think that they're trying their best to figure this out. Yeah. And um, uh, I think if every town makes different kind of rules for different things, it hamstrings their work, but they're meeting every other week. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I want to do something in concert with the state and not try to put a wedge into what they're doing because. I guess I'm just a little concerned about the lead time on if we order these signs, how long it takes them to, you know, I know we're in January, but if it takes them 30 days to create the signs, you know, we're going to be next time we meet, we're going to be like early February. So it's going to be early March. So, you know, we are, I, I agree with you, Dan. I'm just, I'm just a little worried about the signs. signs. Well, they make, they can make signs up and bury yeah. very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we, we can. We so can the do parking, that. the winter parking ordinance is in effect November 1 to April 30th. <laughs> no vehicles are to be parked on town roads during these months. Vehicles will be towed at owner's expense. Okay. I, I will. I will certainly um, continue to um, update, and then we can certainly ask somebody from Forest and Parks if you know, representative to join us and find out specifically if they are going to open up the state park here in Underhill and what their plan and, is. And can we discourage them from doing that? Do you agree? I think that we should have them. We can I have certainly contact. do that. I, I can talk to them. Yeah, yeah. A, I think we should have them come. select board members agree with making that position of Thank discouraging you. them to open up the park? Because what I, what I fear is people will go to the park I, I wouldn't and want they, to vote on that until I have all their information. This, this is a, you know, so that's a VLC2 thing. There's going to be like six meetings on it between, there was one today. I just got the thing in the mail, so I didn't know, but it's a big deal. Yeah, it, it is. is. Deal. But like if, if the state parks are open. I rent my house house. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to, I can talk to my contacts. Okay. Um, but, but think about that. Just like play it through. State parks are open. People come up and they're like, oh, go to Underhill. You get this great view. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go hike. The highest point let's in the get, state. Let's go up to Sunset uh, Ridge <laughs> and hike it. And they get up there and yeah, there's snow up top and the bottom is probably not snow. Yeah, well, let's relay that. It's, it's a safety issue. issue. Yeah. I'll, I'll see. They probably already made up their mind. But. Okay. And then Bob is going to be called out on the fire department to rescue people. Go get people off the. They don't feel well. off the mountain. <laughs> no, that's what they do. They they go up there, they're ill prepared, and then they don't feel well. They they sprain their leg or knee or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. I just I just yeah. I thought you might you, you, that day. No, I, I don't feel well. <laughs> yeah. So what else we got here? Do we have to? Um, yeah, it's probably out of business. Um. I think we should wait for Sherry because I think it would you could you could also move to you know you could do the warrants and minutes you yeah do the warrants and minutes but you could also move to rescind the warning and revote it I think would be okay could do mm -hmm. you know you could put a motion on that 
We're going to rescind that vote if you wanted to. If the discussion with Sherry changes yeah. that. If right. not, the vote. If the not, vote. then yeah. Vote is the vote. Um, well, let's wait for Sherry to get here. But if you want to so skip on, we'll, uh, we'll leave the closing public comment. Um, there's nobody here from the public. Caller one, are you um, anyone that wants to have a closing public comment? Okay, I guess not. Um, so we could move on, yeah, to um. More than minutes. Okay. I move that we approve the uh, payroll warrant for 113, 118, 2024. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. That motion carries three to zero. No, it doesn't. Two to one. Well, you signed it. I did not. You didn't sign it? I did not. I thought I, I saw you sign it. Which one's this? Oh, this this payroll warrant. Uh, Dan Steinbauer, aye. Patty Richards, aye. Bob Stone, no. I move that we that motion carries two to one of opposition. Um, I move that we approve the AP warrants for 125-2024. Is there a second? Second. Is there a discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Dan Steinbauer, aye. Patty Richards, aye. Bob Stone, no. That motion carries two to one. Opposed. I move that we um, approve the uh, select board meeting minutes for Thursday, January 11th, 2024. Is there a second? You are not here. Yes, Aye. Second. Uh, any discussion? Any changes? No. All in favor? Aye. Dan Steinbauer, aye. Aye. Bob Stone, aye. Patty Richards, abstain. That motion carries two to zero with one abstention. I move that we approve the um, select board meeting minutes for the uh, in-person and remote meeting for Thursday, January 4th, 2024. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Any changes? All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Dan Steinbauer, aye. Patty Richards, aye. Bob Stone, no. That motion carries two to one. That one opposition. Um, I move that we approve the Select Board Meeting Minutes for Thursday, January 4th, 2024. Is there a second? Second that. Any discussion? Any changes? Mm -hmm. Which ones are these? Are these the joint? Jericho. The... Yeah, this is the joint one with Jericho regarding the fire department at the Jericho Town Hall are part of it. All in favor? Aye. 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 
right. That motion carries 3 to 0. And that would be it. Sure, it's here. I don't know. What sure, thank is. you for coming over in the fog. Too bad. Yeah, it was bad coming in. I imagine it's worse. So, what can I help with? Warning. Another warning. We had uh, a uh, difference because. And I know that there are legal implications to how petitions are written, and they have to be written in a certain way. And I know that the relationship between the petition and the warning, because you can't put something on the warning that wasn't stated as a petition. And so we are, and and um, there is some concern about the. Um, Transparency, I guess. And okay. Um, so before you begin, if I could just ask, um, I'm I'm opposed to the voters not um, it, it's not appearing to me to be very transparent. And I get that you can't technically make any modifications to the petition. I, I clearly get it. I'm just wondering, can the select board? put the official warning in, and then can there be a letter from the select board directly following that, stating that that what the implications of moving the select board from three to five would um, have be completely separate, be the next page saying that the implications of approving this article will result in an additional $10,000 um, to the budget. And just a clear statement, not saying yes or no, but just it is what it is. That's very factual, and that would be that. It's not the it's not the article. It's not the you know it's not the warning. It's not an article. It's just a separate. It's the next page after. So when someone's reading through, yep. Oh, okay. In this in the town report, right? It would be a separate. We could write that a, a separate a separate page altogether. It's not part of the article. It's just the next informational or a, like a separate informational type of thing. Now. And I'm wondering, can there? Why don't you put it in your town in the select board report? I think it would be more meaningful if it was right after the um, the warning. It can't be on the warning at all, though. Like, no. You know, a little footnote on the bottom. No. No. Okay. But if it was set, if it was separate, just insert a one one paragraph. Because it can't be on the ballot. Yeah. Correct. So the next page, it could say, let's let's hash out exactly what it. What you want to say, so we can make sure to, because tomorrow we got to get this to the printer. Um, so you could say something like, well, "Wait a minute, well, let me let me get my head wrapped around this a little bit." How is this any different than if we were at the floor and Bob's, you stand up and say we're going to add ten thousand dollars to um, the highway infrastructure? The voters aren't educated on that. I'm just playing the devil's advocate here. No, I here. get it. So the, I think the only the only difference for me is that almost nearly all the rest of the articles in here state like what the implication of the um, what that's going yeah, to be. Yeah, but we've had articles in the past that don't. Yeah, I, I think that that has been a right. familiar sight. So yeah. I guess I'm I would rather have the residents be informed and know what they're voting on than not. That's all. That's that's my personal preference is like, you know, and I understand like if we can't put it in the official article, then we can say like, <clears throat> not trying to sway you. I'm just trying to educate you to say like, this is what that's going to mean. Moving on. That's all. I don't see why you can't do that. Could, so I'm just going to try to give a shot at wording it here. Could I say, um, how would you want to? Word it like a, additional information regarding official warning or something. Clarification. So additional. Well, yeah. to the resident, to the residents of the town of Underhill. To the residents of town. Of as, as it relates to Article Number Thirteen, the select board wishes to uh, inform you that uh, um, the additional 
adding two additional members to the select board will result in um, an additional ten thousand dollars to the select board line item to the bottom line bottom, of the budget you can bottom, only say yeah, the bottom, bottom line, bottom line yeah. to the, yeah. to the bottom due, line of the budget or do you say to the to the residents of the town of underhill as it relates to article 13 currently the select board receives a stipend of five thousand dollars per per member i don't think you need to get into that i think okay. i just need to say well, like, yeah no exactly. let's no 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 let's do that because like patty said not everybody's educated people don't know that you're making five grand they they if they went to last i don't care no. said, but that's they, my point okay you know people if go they to town to the hearing they'll know about this article too but exactly so uh, you know you can only educate so much because that came up from the floor you can only increase the salary of a select board from the floor so you had 150 200 people in a room saying okay let's do it mm -hmm. but it then is, but that action was voted on at the floor with that information in hand people made a vote but it was last the public budget implications here they're making a vote they have no idea that there's a budget impact I disagree. You got to be an idiot to think that there's not. Everything we do, everybody that has, you know, but that's just me. I the think. average person is not like, immersed in. They might not even know you get paid anything. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Well, that's it. When I first came on, I didn't know we got paid anything. Yeah. I wasn't doing it for the for, for the, the money. For the money, it's a volunteer position. I honestly didn't know. I say go okay. ahead and do it, but I say that you tell them that they're already getting the five grand. That it was voted on at the from the floor at the last meeting. Really educate them about how this whole thing is. I want to get this wording exactly in agreement because I don't want to put something in there tomorrow that's not, that, that's ex not exactly. what you want. I would keep it very simple and straightforward so not to confuse people. So to the residents of the town of Underhill, as it relates to Article 13, increasing the number of select board members from three to five. From three to five. We'll we'll increase the budget. We'll increase the bottom line budget by ten thousand dollars. We'll increase the bottom line budget. Do you want to say from fifteen thousand to twenty five thousand? I don't no. care. I, I, I just say it was like eight, but or by, just, you, buy, you no, want to say, you say by, by ten thousand dollars? Increase it by ten to ten, yeah, by ten thousand. Okay, so this is the way it reads: to the residents of the town of Underhill, as it relates to Article Thirteen, increasing the number of select board members from three to five will increase the bottom line budget by ten thousand dollars i i like that oh yep Dan? that's fine um we didn't have a unanimous vote on the warning i'd like to see us have one why why are we not unanimous because of article 13 with no, this, this with this in the packet would you yeah i changed my vote okay can they I, can they i want to ask sherry this yeah. question can they rescind their motion approving the article or approving the warning and re-vote on it mm -hmm. okay. i think the people that voted in the affirmative can i can't make the motion they have well, to make the motion exactly, exactly. i make a motion that we rescind our action on the official warning for town meeting day, March 5, 2024. I'll second that. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I don't think I can vote. Probably not. So Steve. I'll abstain. Okay. Dan Steinbauer, aye. Patty Richards, aye. Bob so I'm saying. That motion carries two to one. And why are you abstaining? Two to zero to because one. he voted I in the I voted, negative. I voted in the, in the um, negative. negative. So, we have so I don't think I can vote okay. when it comes to rescinding. Yep. I think you have to. Right. I no, think I have was to the right call. So I'm going to make a motion that we approve the official warning of the Town of Underhill Annual Town Meeting of March 5th, 2024, for the 13 articles read by Dan Steinbauer. 
No second, man. Discussion. As long as we add an additional page after immediately following the official warning, the um, statement that was just crafted, I would agree. Okay. And then my motion. Can we do that or? Yeah. We still voting on the warning, so we're voting on the warning. It's a clear understanding we're going to do. Yeah. That, yeah. So. Okay. 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 All in favor? Aye. That motion carries three to zero. Okay. Okay. So and I, I think um, what else is on that page that follows the warning? Uh, there's no no page. It'll be a new page. Okay. It'll be a blank. Just with that. It'll one. be a blank. We have the abstract from next year. Usually follows it, but we'll just <clears throat> stick a blank page on there, and we'll put that. And okay. Maybe we'll put a picture of Casey Silver something. You know. Yeah. <laughs> put a picture on there. Yeah. So. That'd be good. Picture of someone sitting on top of Mount Mansell with 3D so, glasses. Right. Oh, sorry. So so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't don't just leave it blank. blank. <laughs> So if you have the Put clean copy, it would be nice to sign that. Um, of course, we've got so many copies. We, we already have it. Well, they're, they're all different. Good. I gave Dan. I yeah, gave this, Dan. I gave it to Dan. Okay. This is not the right one. The just one, with a second. I don't care. Just sign the bottom, this last page, and then we can deal with the front page after. And I already updated it, it on please. the hard drive. No, the new down. numbers and everything. We made some changes. So I updated the warning. And I on the S drive and printed it out for him. It wasn't by much, it was only like 3300 bucks or something. <coughs> I can't save my thing. Um, so this, uh, this is not on the agenda, and I would <coughs> add it. Um, because I have in front of me about uh, rolling over excess. I, I had that. I didn't know if you're going to go on an executive session or not, but that can wait. Either way, I can put it on the warning or on the, okay. on the agenda, whatever. Is that executive, session? executive uh, session? No. Employees request to roll over there. It's no. just a simple, because our, our, our um, personnel oh. policy states that above a certain amount of vacation time, you can only carry over so a certain amount on it. without yeah. it. Yes. So, so you have to approve it or not approve it. Yeah, we've already. There's no deadline on this? No, I... I'll just adjust it when I okay. do it accordingly. Okay. When I just want to make sure people don't lose any time. Right. Um, I did put one piece of correspondence in your packet from, um, uh, Jay and Betsy Bogue, Austin. Um, the Bogue family, they have a camp up on Dean Road and they um, kind of responded to the, this is a response I got at the last minute from the mm -hmm. Class 4 Road Study Committee. So I just included it in your packet. If you want a copy, I've got one here. It's got a nice, nice photograph in it. Mm -hmm. So the the committee, I'm trying to think what they were called, the class four road committee. committee. I read the report. Um, yeah, were you? You were there. I was not there. No, you were not there. Okay. With storm. Okay. They made a recommendation to discontinue several class four roads. Yes. Does that mean delisting them as class four roads? No, no. So it's a, this is a non-binding report by them giving the select board recommendations on how to proceed with class four roads. So if you wanted to, and this will be, this will be good future discussion. Maybe if we do have a five member board, um, there's a couple of ways that a, a road can be discontinued. Mm -hmm. It can be done by petition, or you could do it on your own motion. But once you enter into that discontinuance procedure, it's very rigid by statute to do. 
So this is a non-binding just recommendation. I, I know, but I want to understand what discontinue means. That means you um, relinquish all public interest in that road. The public okay. no longer has a right on that highway. Okay. As they do now. Yep. We could talk all afternoon okay. about it. That's, <laughs> but if you wanted to sometime, yeah, it would be nice to have a yeah, definitely. definitely. Really important information. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. um and we've just continued many roads in this town, you know. Many, many, many. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to go over the report, I'd be more than happy to. You know, I'm pretty familiar with it and kind of give you the rundown. These guys are pretty well versed after the Butler Road. Um, Indeed. So um, that's a little mistake I have, I think, on the. Oh, no, I guess not. It is February 8th, is our next regularly scheduled meeting. Right. Um, so I just wanted to write down, Bob, you're gone from when? I'm leaving down <clears throat> on. Okay, I see this right. Saturday the 24th, so I'll probably leaving the night of the 23rd. Um, and I'll be back on the 2nd of March. Okay, and Patty? And I'm going on the 29th, returning the 4th, late the 4th. I'll put 5. Okay, be back for obviously the 5th. Yeah, it seems like you were gone last year, just like that, I think. Yeah. So we're, and Dan, do you have some um, time your way? Just uh, that uh, 22nd. That's the only day. Yeah, only day. I'm gone. The 5 0. The 5 0. Okay. Uh, let's see if we get that. 50th anniversary. Pick one. That's your 10 Heidi and I will send you uh, some flowers to your room. <laughs> she said rose petals. I said tulips. I don't know. <laughs> oh, tulips. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's that. Um, just, just FYI, this was the front porch form plus that Sherry did, and she did put that. Just so you know, it's so it's it has started. The conversation has started. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I get that. It's just it's like vote. You're in that little booth. Always good to see the person I live with. You gotta do homework before you go in the booth. No, no, I wish that was the case. You don't need to do that. So, um, I will be adjourned. Give me a second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, the three, eight twenty, eight twenty three. Eight twenty three.